back to Branson, Missouri. My cooking nooks fell up. I'm Christine Deaton, and we love having you guys. Thank you for being here today. Hey, today we are celebrating a birthday. Turn the camera around. Bobby, my son-in-law, who never the kitchen twice. <laughs> it's Bobby's birthday today, so happy birthday, Bobby. I made sure I made sure that Bobby liked the menu, and he said yes. <laughs> so the menu today is a stuffed bell pepper soup. So it's soup, like just like you would build a bell pepper, you know, a stuffed bell pepper. We're gonna we're gonna make a soup into that, and it's actually very very delicious. And it's got all the stuff that would be in a stuffed bell pepper is gonna be in that red pot over there. We're also gonna make a crunchy um, sweet cornbread to go with it. I've already made some desserts, so I'll show you those in a bit because I wanted it to be the party stuff. And then we have a great punch today. I made a cranberry ginger sparkler. So it's just cranberry juice and ginger ale and lime juice and mixed up in ice and it's very, very delicious. So, oh, we're also gonna make some rice today because rice is always in a stuffed bell pepper. Mm -hmm. So, I wanna get the rice going, we'll get the bread in the oven and then we'll make the soup because the soup is gonna be very quick today. All right, how's everybody doing? We're so, lo we love you guys joining us every week. Yes, ma'am. So Dottie says she's ready to eat. <laughs> and then Yvette said, hello, everyone. Good to see you. Hello. Well. Hello, hello. And then we've got a lot of happy birthday wishes to Bobby. To Bobby, from Mary Good nice. Good. And Mindy, Crystal, Dottie, uh, Yvette, everybody's saying happy birthday. Isn't that nice, Bobby? Oh, see you <laughs> Oh, well, we thank everybody for being here today as we celebrate Bobby's birthday. They're actually going, um, my daughter Ashley Jo performs on the Branson uh, Showboat the Bell. Uh, that's what it's called, right? The Branson, Showboat Branson Bell. Showboat Branson Bell. Right there. Right there. And so they're going to go see <laughs> Ashley perform today. So how nice is that? It's a great show, by the way. Mm -hmm. If you've not been to Branson, get here. And if you have not seen that show, get there. So Mandy great. said she wants more yummy food, and then she said holy punch. <laughs> it's really good. We've had some already. <laughs> awesome. We've got Alicia Everett watching. Well, hi, Alicia. How are you? Everybody out there, thank you for joining me today. I've got a great menu and a very easy menu. So right now, i got to get the rice started in my rice cooker. So all I have is two cups of rice, and I have four cups of water, so it's a two-to-one thing. I'm not putting salt, pepper, anything because it's going in the soup and all the flavor is going to be in the soup. So rice is going. There you go. Okay, let's work on the cornbread. Now, cornbread, there's probably a million different cornbread recipes. My recipe, fast, easy, and delicious, I get a little help from my friend. Okay, so I'm just using one of these little tiny boxes. I mean, and they're so inexpensive. It's like 50, 50 cents a box. It's great cornbread, okay? So that's what I use. Now, I need one third cup of milk, one egg is going in, okay? Clean as you go, people. Clean as you go. So that would be just a plain old basic cornbread recipe right there. But I'm going to crunch it up, okay? We're going to use whole kernel corn. Which, Emily, I don't know that you're going to be able to eat the cornbread because it's got corn in it. I'll just take them out. Okay. <laughs> so, Emily can't because of her, she has ulcerative colitis, so she can't have corn. So, this is probably not a good menu as far as that goes for Emily. But she said she'll be pick out right. the corn. Okay. So, all I'm doing is putting corn in there, which makes it the crunchy part of it. Okay. And then, I mean, with cornbread, literally, if you're, if you're doing like a chili or like a Mexican, um, like a goulash or whatever. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you could make that you could do cornbread as the side. And so you can do green chilies and cheese. I mean, with cornbread, it's kind of one of those things where you can put, I don't even know what, anything you want, vegetables, like, like a corn, but you could put in mixed vegetables. Cornbread is one of those things where literally you can dress it up or dress it down as much as you want. Green chilies. Green chilies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old half green chilies. 
the ones that like in Arizona that you can just go to the corner and buy mm -hmm. them grilled right there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. let me tell you, so that is said cornbread is my fave. Oh yeah, Every cornbread is the bomb. Oh, now I've got like a half a can of corn left, so don't throw that away. That's dinner or something. Okay, Fish let's put the cornbread in now. I, I've used a little square pan. And I'm going to put the cornbread in it, and but I'm not done yet, guys, okay? Um, and I did butter the pan, okay? Now, spread it around, and to make it even, because it's a sweet, crunchy cornbread, so I have this granulated, like the large granulated sugar like you would use for decoration. See there? Can you see that, guys? And that is going to be sprinkled on top, and that's going to make it sweeter and more yummy than it is. I love cornbread anyway. If it was just a plain cornbread, I would love it. But then when you, you know, as Emeril Lagasse used to say, kick it up a notch, which I don't want to use her, his lingo, but that's what this does. It really does. So you've got your sugar on top, which makes it sweeter, and then you've got your crunchy corn inside. So delicious. Put some pep in your step. What's that? Put some pep in your step. Yeah, pep in your step. There you go. So we have Preston watching with us today. Hi, Preston. Hey, How are you? Preston. Thank you for joining me. Okay, let's get this thrown away. This is on the side. This is on the side. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to make our soup. All right, so it looks like a heck of a lot of ingredients. There's always a lot of ingredients in soup, right? Soup is not a one, to, unless you make a can of, like, tomato soup like I do all the time. But soup has got, soup is hearty. And especially in cold weather, which lately it's been really cold. Today's nice, but it's been really, really cold here in Branson. Especially in cold weather. Soup is usually the meal. So you want all your stuff in it, okay? Well, that's what this is. So if you take a stuffed bell pepper, you're going to have meat, onions, of course, bell pepper, rice, cheese, then you bake it in the oven, and it comes out to this amazing, oh, by the way, i got to set my timer, and then you have this delicious, like, kind of a meal in one little cup, so the soup is going to have all of those ingredients in the pot, scoop it up, and it's going to be like eating a stuffed bell pepper, which is absolutely delicious. Let's put the cornbread in for about... I'm going to do 14 minutes, and we're going to check it. So Mindy says that she's burning here today. She's burning? She's, it's yeah, hot. it's warm. It's, it's very warm. It's it went from Louisiana. freezing yesterday and rain to today it's almost 80 degrees. It's like the weather's like this. And then in a day or so, it's going to be freezing like in the 40s. It's going to be the high. Bobby's doing two thumbs up. You know, he's a, he's a master mechanic, so I don't, I don't think working in hot weather is your friend, so the colder it is for him, the better. <laughs> so, yeah, and I, you know what? The older I get, the less I like heat. So um, that's why when the fall comes and the leaves are changing, and it's actually beautiful over here, I, I, I'm like, I look forward to the weather getting cold. In Arizona, where we're from, what's the weather? Like still in the high 90s? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're in the 90s. It's still very, very, very hot. I remember years in Arizona where you had like six months of 100 plus weather. That gets a little old, let me tell you. That's not something, I love Arizona. And there are many parts of it that I miss, but the heat, no way. I don't miss it. So, Mindy no. just said, me too, girl. Yeah. And then we have Ann Harlan watching. Hi, Harlan. How are you? Hello, Glad you're Ann here. I remember one Christmas, it was 100 degrees out there. Well, really? Yeah. I don't saying, remember that. I remember 80. Yeah. They're saying that this winter there is supposed to be like one of the hottest on record. Oh, see, that's yeah. not okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was, it was, uh, that is not okay. The yeah. year we had El Nino. It was 100 yeah. degrees that Christmas day. Really? Yeah. 100 degrees for Christmas? Yes. yes. What the heck? Wearing shorts to Christmas. <laughs> well, that's, that is just, that's against everything. That's, that's against nature. Okay. I, had, I heated up my pot. I put in my oil. Remember, guys, always heat the pot, then put the oil. Things cook differently. They don't burn. There's a lot of reasons to do that. Always heat your pan, then heat your oil. It's two steps. Heat your pan. Heat your oil, then cook. I have one large 
um, just a yellow onion that I diced. Oh yeah, there's the sizzle. Turn it down a little. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put about, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon, no, a teaspoon of minced um, garlic in with my onion. Okay. Now everything that you see here, guys, right here, show Chris, right here, everything that you see here, it's going to pretty much be dumped in a couple of exceptions to the rule with cheeses. But everything that you see is going to be dumped right here in the pot. And then we're going to let it simmer. And by the time the soup is cooked, the bread and the rice will be cooked. And they have the rice and then we eat. That's how quick this is going to be today. Okay, so let's talk about a few things while I'm cooking this soup. Number one, next week... I'm having a Halloween party, and you're all invited to my Halloween party. Now, do you guys remember how we did my birthday party? And those of you who wore blue, you know, we were putting a drawing on. So we're going to do the same thing. If you have some kind of Halloween costume on, even a witch's hat, I don't care what it is, as long as you're part of the party, come with something on that shows something about Halloween. You know, paint a little jack-o'-lantern face. I don't care what it is. Come to the party, we're going to put you in a drawing, and we're going to give some stuff away. So that's going to be, of course, 1 o'clock next week. I decided that I am going to, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so, Dia de los Muertos, okay, this means the Day of the Dead. It's the day that you honor those that have passed, and I'm going to be doing that kind of makeup, and so it's kind of being, going to be my theme, so if anybody wants to dress like that, you can. Um, but I want everybody to come to my Halloween party, and I've got the cutest menu. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, here in this bowl, here's the star of today's show. So, no, you know what? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so I cut up one kind of big bell pepper, green. And then I had a red and a yellow bell pepper. I did half of each one of those, okay? And I want to saute... Now, if you look at the recipes for um, stuffed bell pepper soup, most people do not put the bell pepper in yet. But I wanted it more of a roasted taste, like when you put it in the oven, it roasts, okay? So I wanted that flavor in here. So I'm putting it in, look at how beautiful that looks. I'm putting it in with my veggies, with my other veggies, okay? So I want to saute that for a minute. Then I'm going to put in a pound of ground turkey because stuffed bell peppers are not stuffed without some kind of meat. Usually, usually it's ground beef, but you know me guys, I use the, the, the ground turkey. And the ground turkey for me is a great substitute. It's less calories, it's less oil, you know, when you less grease. It's just it's an all-around healthier alternative and a lot of times um, people if they have like and you can correct me you're a nurse uh, high blood pressure and things like that they say cut out some of the red meat if you have you know medical issues a lot of times you have to cut out red meat or at least back off on it a little bit mm -hmm. and ground turkey is a great alternative I use it for everything okay so this consistency Chris look in here Okay, the, the onions are kind of translucent. We don't want them all the way because then there'll be mush in the soup. So now I'm going to throw in my meat. Okay. Tammy's with us. Hello, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Hi, girl. Thank you for joining me today. Okay. And now we don't want to cook the paper. Paper's not allowed in my soup. <laughs> so Yvette just said, love the De Los Muertos stuff. I'll be out of town next week. We'll try to connect. Okay. It sounds good. Alright, I'm going to throw this away, guys. Let my meat cook. Let me wash my hands. You know, guys, anytime you use raw meat, wash your hands. You don't want to be contaminating the rest of the food or contaminating your guests. It's not very nice. So, you guys just said I may have to pack my Dia de los Muertos costume. There you go. You know, I was kind of inspired. I love the movie Coco. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys have seen that. We're big Disney fans in the family. And 
if you've not seen the movie Coco, you've got to watch it. It's, it's just a beautiful movie. And so I was kind of inspired by that. And I also needed to have a costume that I could move around <laughs> in the kitchen. So I thought, you know, that, the, the Day of the Dead, the Dia de los Muertos, is more of a, a makeup thing and stuff. So I said, I can do that. So that's, that's why I kind of went that direction. So anybody that wants to get on that bandwagon for next week, that would be great. But you can wear whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to turn this up because I need my meat to brown. Okay, while my meat is browning, guess what? What? Guess what? I gotta show you. Yay! It's here! here. Woohoo! <laughs> my cookbooks are here. They're ready to go to you. So, and it's, I mean, it's awesome. I was it's, just looking for it. Yes. And it's. Great. It's, it's awesome! Nice. I, it's love, I, I love all of the tips. The tips yes! And the, yeah, and that alone is worth <laughs> every penny. It, it is, is so... Worth the money. I am so excited about it. They did such a beautiful job. Of course, yeah. everything in it is, you know, me creating it. But what they did do, I do want to show you what they did do. And this is just something that I thought was great. I've got that. I know. Be kitchen. Sorry. Back and forth. Just follow me now. Okay. So... <laughs> In the back of the cookbook, you have pantry basics, and you've got baking breads, and baking desserts, and let's see what else is in here. Um, you've got, and it's really, I mean, it's, it turned out so many vegetables and fruits, all kinds of information, baking time, cooking time, <coughs> equivalency charts, which, gosh, does that help in the kitchen, mm -hmm. measuring substitutions, microwave hints. I mean, there is so much here, and you can publish your own cookbook. I know everybody wants to do that, right? I'll tell you what, it was a big project, but it was a fun project. So, Yvette says, yay, she can't wait to get it. And your mother is watching with us. Hello, Mom, how are you? My cookbook is here, Mother. Woohoo! I'm so excited about it. But really, it did. It came out, it came out so good. I'm so excited about it. And so, you know, if you guys haven't ordered one, please do. You can tell the girls today they're both manning the phones and just tell them that you'd like a book. And we've had, I, I don't even know how many orders. We have a ton of orders that we, you know, that we did the pre-order thing. And so, but, but the other thing is, you know, my goal was 100 subscribers. We're at 91. We're at 91. So my books are here. I'm at 91. We've got to know nine people. <laughs> so, Yvette says, looks great. Love the cover. Uh, Mima said, hi, I'm here. Congratulations on the cookbook. Thank you, Mom. We have Alex Flores watching. Hi, Alex. How are you? <laughs> and then Dottie Zarnowski says, looks so good. And then we also have Mary Heffington watching. Hi, so Mary. Says, oh, hey, everyone. How you doing, Mary? And then Anne Harrelin said, forgot to say hello, but I am enjoying my favorite kitchen chef. <laughs> Thank you, Harolyn. Okay, come over here. Look, thank you, Harolyn, for saying that. All right, so my meat is browned, okay? My vegetables look beautiful. The onions, can you guys smell this? It yes. is. Okay, so all right. Good. So now, what do we do next? Well, it's a soup, so you need some broth. <laughs> That's simple. Okay, so I have a 32-ounce container of, yes, you guessed it, low-sodium chicken broth. Going in, man. Going in. It's so versatile. You can use that for anything. Gravies. I soups. use it for rice instead of for rice. rice. Yeah, you could you could I've done that on the show too, where mm -hmm. instead of putting, you know, four cups of water, you can do four cups of the chicken broth. So you can use it for really anything that you use liquid in, you can use this. And don't use the full bore sodium, you know, do, do the low sodium because honestly. Um, it, it would, it'll be too salty. It really will be. Especially for our Meniere's friends Meniere's out there, or our fellow Meniere's warriors. Yeah, yeah. You can't, we can't, we cannot have all the salt, so I do everything low sodium anyway, but I'm telling you, just, just for the sake of flavor, um, you, you really don't want to use full bore, unless you make your own broth and then you save it and freeze it and all that stuff. Uh, but I would not use um, yeah. just the whole full sodium. 
broth. It really will make a difference in your cooking. So okay. Mary Heffington said, hang it in there, trying to anyway. She said, looks good as always. And then Yvette said, I love the tips, I'm learning a lot. Well, then, thank you, good, I'm glad. Thank you so we much. We just had Mary Halsey join us. She says, hi, hi, Mary, how are you, girl? Hey, Mary, welcome okay. aboard. I am putting in maybe a half a teaspoon, I don't want that to overpower the taste, about a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I am going to put a little pepper, a little sprinkle of pepper, and I did put probably about a teaspoon of my garlic salt blend. California blend, it's my favorite. Look how pretty this is, Chris. So, Mima, I just said love your purple shirt. And Thank I, you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mother. We miss you here. And then Vivian Booster just joined us. Hi, Vivian. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, everybody. We appreciate so much week after week after week that you come and you check out what we're doing and the menus. And, you know, we have now with fall <coughs> here and then the holidays are here, basically. As a matter of fact, Branson has got Christmas trees up and everything because Branson starts Christmas November 1st because it gets so cold here and icy that Branson basically shuts down like the second week of December. So they're closed before Christmas ever gets here, so they want to make sure that they do their Christmas shows and everything. As a matter of fact, all next week, Ashley, my daughter, is rehearsing her Christmas show, and then they start that. So um, it, Christmas comes very early here, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, I have a 28-ounce can of just plain old crushed tomatoes. Now, if you're making stuffed bell peppers, you know that tomatoes are a big part of that. Now, there's still some uh, tomato, you know, stuff in there. What's, oh, what's, let's see, bread, 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 that's what. Nope, not, I, I can tell. What's beeping? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do only about thing. three more minutes on the bread. Rice is still cooking. Okay, so I put the 28 ounce can because there's always tomatoes or tomato paste or tomato, you know, crushed tomatoes. Look at how pretty that looks. Um, Katie Kane has just joined us. Hello, thank you for joining us today, everybody. So anyway, what I was saying is there is residual tomatoes in the can. I also had a drop left, just a tiny drop left of my broth, but guess what? Ta da I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna use both up and put it in my soup pot. Don't waste food. <laughs> Look at that. See? <clears throat> and there you go. And then that goes in. More juice, more flavor. More juice, more juice, more juice, more flavor. Oh yeah. Clean as you go, guys. As a matter of fact, on one of the very first pages, I think it's page three, I have my tips or suggestions in the kitchen. And number one was clean as you go. <laughs> Let's check out the soup. All right, the soup is actually looking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, Chris, I don't know about you with this soup. Yeah, I'm tell you, you know what? We're going we're gonna to give it a try. It, it smells try. good. I try everything. Said, you know, married 35 years, and this guy has never been a vegetable guy. Never, ever, ever, ever. And so the stuff that he has eaten since I started this show has literally shocked me. He's eaten eggplant, <clears throat> he ate broccoli cheese soup last week. I mean, I don't know that you've ever he, he ate the uh, veggie wraps. The oh, veggie wraps. <laughs> I mean, he's eaten all kinds of stuff. I said, I don't know if, I, if you're okay. Are you okay? <laughs> you know, or you, it just smells so yeah, good. It, it does smell delicious. Well. You get a little older and you go, oh, <laughs> that was silly. I shouldn't have Shouldn't have kept these things out of my life all, right, all this time. Look at this beautiful so we have Angie Enriquez watching. Hi, Angie. How and, are you, girl? And Dottie just said, yes, Chris gets to taste test it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you April, know. April Claus is also here. Hey, Hello. April. Yes, Dottie. I will taste test it. And I, I will say, I, there are some things, not so much in the, in the cooking, but there have been things throughout my life that I, I don't like when I try them. But I'll try anything. I that's will be true. adventurous no, enough true. to taste yeah. almost anything. That's true. I, I will say that he, he, he will try I things. may not go back for a second helping, but... <laughs> I'm going to give a secret away. I can always tell when he hates something because I call it his vegetable nose. <laughs> he makes a face. He doesn't even know he makes the face. So I will. that will be the taste test, the big, the big <laughs> test today. 
when he tastes this, if something happens to <laughs> we're so giving the, away all kinds of The thing is, secrets. I don't make a face. My face Your makes face a face. Makes a face. It's an involuntary. <laughs> That's what I said. You don't even, you're not even conscious of it. You just, it just happens. So that's when I know, hey, that's beautiful, that and that is done. cornbread looks great. That it is smells done. delicious. You shut the oven off. Beautiful. So that really took me about, uh, I don't know, 15, 17. 16 minutes, I think. Something like that. Okay, soup, guys. As soon as it bubbles and simmers. Look, rice is done. Bread is done. Soup is almost done. Uh, oh, how quick is this? It's this lunch is time. Soup. This is why I tell you, fast, easy, and delicious. You can make amazing food in 30 minutes or less. Sometimes, you know, I'm here for 45 minutes or so, and that's because I'm gabbing and all that stuff. But most everything, let me show you in the cookbook, the stuff that I put in here, everything in here, guys, everything in here. We have the table of contents. I got main dishes. I've got side dishes, soups, desserts, beverages. Okay, so in my main dishes, I mean I've got everything in here is stuff that you've seen me cook right here on the show, and most of the stuff when you're cooking at home. Okay, you're cooking at home. It's just you in the kitchen. This is quick. All of these things: spaghetti casserole, uh, no bean chili, a uh, turkey chili, the meatloaf sliders. The, the, the glazed ham that I made for Easter, they were ham steaks with a, with a pineapple glaze. It took me 30, less than 30 minutes. Kielbasa, veggies, Italian salad chicken cutlets, uh, the skillet, green chili chicken enchilada casserole. All of these things are that quick. What I like about the cookbook, too, is it actually says on there what episode they can go yes, to yes. to watch you make it. Yes. And I personally do better when I can watch like a yes. YouTube video or something and go step by step with them. And that's that's why I did that because yep. for myself, too, I would rather watch. Like right now, I'm doing a ton of crocheting. I've got a project that I'm doing for Christmas. And um, where's your scarf? I want them to see your scarf. Well, Somebody it's inside. Get it. <laughs> Where is it? Tell everyone. It's in the room on, so, on the bed. I have a scarf. My mother just said going to the dentist at two, two more visits. Okay. She'll smile. We're waiting for you to get here. And she just Mima said happy birthday to you. Thank and you. Mary Heffington said, love watching all of the delicious things you make and can't wait to get my cookbook. Well, thank you very much. And like I said, now that we have the cookbooks, uh, local people will just get them to you. If I'm mailing them out, then we're just, we're just going to find out. It shouldn't be very much. The books are light. Um, so we'll get the, the, the charges for that. Okay, so this is, I made, a, I made this scarf for Chris. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and so this is stuff that I do to get ready for the holidays. But I'll tell you what, the holiday is a very busy time for me because I'm like crafty and stuff like that. But cooking is a huge part of that. Thanks, Ed. Were you talking about YouTube, something with YouTube with this? Uh, what was I saying? Yes. Watching videos, maybe? Oh, yeah. So okay. thank you. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Keep me on track. So what I'm saying is a lot of times for me, and as Emily said, I put the, the My Cooking Nook episode so you can watch me cook this stuff, which while I was doing the cookbook, if you remember, I said I had to keep referring back to the episode so that I made sure that I was telling you, you know, how I did it. Well, it's the same thing with my crocheting. A lot of times I'm trying to find, you know, new stitching and stuff like that. And so I watched the videos and I'm like, as a matter of fact, yesterday, remember yesterday I was trying to do a new stitch? Not so much. So I'm going to work on that one today. But so Donnie on. says, beautiful scarf, got to keep hubby warm. <laughs> yes, man. And yesterday I had it on he all it on. day. It's a nice okay. So guys, I think as soon as this bubbles, I, I can't even believe it, but then lunch is ready. But let me show you what I did do for dessert. So my daughter Ashley has had texted me yesterday and she said, Mom, I've been craving those little fried apple pies that you made. Can you make me some? So I went to the store and there was only four because Ashley took a bunch and Chris has been eating like I don't even know how many. So I have four of those left. So those are little apple pies that I make. And then this is one of the favorites around here. These are just my little chocolate M&M cookies. The three ingredients, M&M cookies right there okay it's just chalk it's like devil's it's devil's food cake a whole box it's two eggs and it's a half a cup of oil 
and you get great little cookies. And then I throw in these, Bobby, have a bonus because it's your birthday. They have mini chocolate chips and the M&M's. Mm -hmm. So you get chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> and chocolate. That's so right these, are, that's why I didn't make dessert, dessert today because I was making something stuff for Bobby's birthday. And then Ashley had me cooking dessert last night. So there you go. Okay, so let's see how the soup is So you bet you said it all looks delicious. Wish I could smell and taste it. I'll have to make it. Hope it's in the cookbook. The, the, yeah, this, yeah. this soup is in the cookbook. Bless you. Now, I will tell you, last week I made um, rock, uh, uh, bless you. Thank you. broccoli uh, um, cheddar. cheddar soup. And I have different ways of making it. The, how I made it here was not the one in the cookbook, but they're both great. That's because I wanted it very cheesy. For whatever reason, I went with the Velveeta recipe, which was great. So my next cook cookbook will have that recipe for that soup. Okay. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this, but the soup, the soup is done. How quick is that? We're 30, not even 35 minutes, minutes into the show, and we've got a whole lot. So let's start putting everything together. Okay. So remember, cornbread is just a basic cornbread with whole kernel of corn, you know, the, this, the Golden sweet, whole kernel corn. I use about half a can, which is about two, maybe two and a half tablespoons of the corn. And then I put the little, like the, the, the granulated sugar. There's a name for it and I couldn't come up with it today. It's like chunky uh, pieces of sugar. Okay, and I know there's a name for it and I should have done my research, but I didn't, so there you go. So it's anyway, more like a sugar crystal. It's a, it's a crystal. Yeah, it's like, and I, and, I, and I actually looked for them at the store and I couldn't find them. But I would have preferred to use the big, thick crystal sugar on this. But this works just as well. Okay, so we're going to do, yeah, let's see, we're going to get like mm, 12 slices out of this. Spread. Okay, well, let me get my plates here. Soup's a bubbling. Okay, mm -hmm. so don't forget. Don't forget next week, Halloween, wear something Halloween-ish, okay, um, and we'll put you in a drawing, okay, just, just have fun, why not, you know, it's Halloween we think it's for kids, but we all like to dress up, mm -hmm. so it's not just for kids, it's for everybody, and we're going to have a Halloween party, and I'm going to make the cutest, the cutest menu, okay, okay, so here's what I'm making next week. Um, I'm going to do these little mini, I have a muffin pan with the little mini muffin holes. Emily, you did a, I want them, I want you to tell them about your casserole you made, what was it, oh, last yeah. night? Mm -hmm. So this is kind of basically the same thing. So in my little muffin pans, I'm going to put this cornbread that I use and a little scoop in each of the little, there's 24 compartments. And then I'm going to cut the hot dogs small to put in the middle, but on the, on the, top of the, the hot dog I'm going to make like a like a skeleton looking face or a ghost face just carved in you'll see what I'm talking about and then I'm making out of celery sticks I'm going to make like a, a spider web thing and I just watch it's going to be great and then I have oh eyeball eyeball fizz drink mmm doesn't that sound appetizing <laughs> well, okay pop <laughs> Now, you guys know I'm serving now because the soup is done. But anytime you make soup or stew, the longer it sits and the longer it simmers, the, the, the flavors, I, it's not ready to go yet. I have my rice in there. Those, those flavors all marry, okay? The longer it sits, like my family, like when we make Italian food, the next day it's better. That's, that's, what, that's what we think, that's, that's really how it is. Okay, so here's my rice. Now, in stuffed bell peppers, there's rice in it, so we're going to put rice right in the soup, okay? And you, I'm talking, I'm like, maybe a couple of cups of rice, yeah, okay, beautiful, look at that, oh yeah, oh my gosh. So every part that would be in a stuffed bell pepper that you would roast in the oven is in my pot right now. You guys, I can't wait till you taste this. It, it looks smells amazing. Great. It looks amazing. Emily, tell yes. them about, I'm going to let this sit for a minute. Tell them about your concoction, what you came up with last night. 
two boxes of the little cornbread mix the day before and I had a package of bacon that was gonna expire soon so I was like mm. <laughs> so I'm like okay well maybe I can make some sort of hot dog casserole like a corn dog with the cornbread so that's what I did I chopped up the bacon in little tiny pieces and I cooked it um, till it was real nice and crispy and then I cooked up the hot dogs a little bit and made the cornbread just like the box said to. Yeah. And then I just added, I, I coined the um, corn dog or the hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And then I added it and all the bacon to this cornbread mixture and stirred it up and added cheese and bacon on top. And, and did they eat it? They ate it. We yeah. ate it too. We so. ate it too. Yeah, I ate it. And, got them. and I also made a little can of just the Hormel chili yeah. to go with it. Yeah. And it was, I, I was I'm like, okay, cornbread and chili and then chili dogs and everything went perfectly. I was going to say, it actually <laughs> sounds very good. Yeah, it, was really it, good. Sound, it actually does sound delicious. And there's your fed up bonus recipe yeah. of the day. <laughs> okay, guys, everything's ready here. So. Now we serve up the food. I'm very excited about this. And while you were over there talking, Emily, I tasted the soup, and it is delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I okay, bet it so is. So here we go. Oh my goodness gracious! Now I I will tell you that in, in the, I want to wipe this. You know how I am about you, you eat with your eyes first, kind of thing. You always clean your plate like that, and I mean clean it as in make it look nice and clean. Okay, uh, this cheese in it. So, I'm going to put a sprinkle of cheese, but i got to put some Parmesan. Whoa, look what I was thin! <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> you used the moment to hold the little holes. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a, okay, yeah. it would have made it a yeah. cheesy yeah. soup. For me, that would have been like mega cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get some cornbread on this plate. Let's get some, if we can get it. Oh, I know, I need my, I need my spatula here. So anyway, everything's done. It was done in like, what, 50, 20 minutes maybe? 20 minutes. Is that a lot for a meal? Nope. For a whole meal? Nope. Okay. There it is. Look, guys. I know. I can't wait. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Great. Okay. Does somebody want to taste this? I'm always the taste tester when I can eat stuff. Does somebody want to taste this first? You can eat it, right? Yeah, I can eat it. Yeah. All right, Go for it. it. I'll do it. Okay. So, this is everything that would be in a stuffed bell pepper. Again, you've got rice, you've got meat, you've got bell pepper, of course, you've got onion and garlic and cheese and tomatoes. And if you were to look at an actual little stuffed bell pepper, this is all the things that you would see. This, the only difference really in this is that it's soupy. That's it. But everything is in here. I always try to stay very, um, you know, the integrity of whatever the meal is. I try to stay exactly what it is. So here we go. Ooh, yeah, cheese. So Dottie Ooh. just said, looks so yummy. It smells great. Yeah. We also have Vicki Kortz in here with us right in time to enjoy the soup. Welcome. Wow! So Vivian Wooster just said, "What kind of soup is it?" I just missed the first. I missed the first it's part. Stuffed bell pepper soup, and it's very easy. So now, what you got to do is go to uh, YouTube today, tonight. You betcha. You watch us. Watch me do it. My this cooking nook on YouTube. Absolutely delicious. Yay! And especially if you like bell pepper and onion, this this might be one of your favorite soups, and it's in the cookbook. So. Let me show you. Oh, let me taste my cornbread. <laughs> There's the dance. Okay, so Vicki Corson just said it looks delicious. It is very delicious. Oh my gosh. And Mary yeah. Heffington said it looks so good. It is, Mary. I'm sure we hear you that you, you could eat some. Okay, it's in here. The other thing that I want to tell you about is that when Emily and Elizabeth and my daughter Ashley and my mom and my sister all have a recipe in here also. So Elizabeth did the Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth Mexican lasagna. Emily did the ceviche, mm -hmm. right? Ashley did a 
fall y'all muffins, pumpkin muffins, and my sister, um, when we did the fish tacos and we had the coleslaw, that's my sister's coleslaw, and then we had mom, well I think mom might have a couple of things in here. Um, mom had, yeah, I think there were a couple. Yeah, there, there were a couple of things that mom, but, but the, 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 one of my favorites of my mom's is her zucchini, um, it's like a stew. And it's in here. So mm -hmm. here you go, guys. So Yvette it's said, here. looks delicious. My family would enjoy the soup right up our alley. She said, Elizabeth, please put me down for another cookbook. Thank you. And then Vivian Wooster just said, yum, how do we order the cookbook? Okay, just tell the girls right now if you're on with us. Or you go to www.mcn, which is my cooking fed up, dot biz, and go to, I actually have a, a page, page for the cookbook, and it's cookbook store. And then there's a form. And then it'll come right to me, and then we'll send you an invoice, and there you go. So, thank you all for being thank here Thank you, and yes. It's here! I'm so excited! <laughs> Don't forget, share the information with share your friends. Get to that YouTube people. channel. Subscribe, yes. subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. We need nine more people <laughs> to make that first goal of 100 people. You guys, thank you so much for being here week after week. We're going to see you next Wednesday at 1 o'clock in Halloween mode. Okay, we're gonna have a Halloween party. We love you guys. Have a great week. Bye-bye! Bye. <laughs> hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode number 40. We had stuffed bell pepper soup and we had delicious cornbread and some desserts and a great punch. And you know what? We're almost at our 100 subscriber mark here on YouTube right here. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please do that right now? We want to thank you so much for joining us because you know what? When we hit our 100 uh, subscriber mark, guess what? My cookbook comes out. The cookbooks are here, everybody, and we want to get them out to you. But we had a goal of 100 subscribers. We are six people away. So let's get the cookbook out there. I appreciate that so much. Thank you all for your support. And remember, like and subscribe and tell your friends to do it and watch the show on Wednesdays. We love you. Bye-bye.